Hi, so I started having a look at this thing. Now we'll have a better look on a different video about that video. But it's a bit flimsy and I realised I'm going to have to make some support for it and that's going to mean making a big wheel, which means drawing a big circle. What I've got for a compass is this thing. Oh, it is just a pain. I mean, it's a piece of trash, really. Uh, it keeps moving, the pencil keeps dropping out, and it's just a nuisance, and yet an essential tool, but still a nuisance. The other thing I've actually got is the re last remnants of my mahogany coffee table. I mean, that coffee table has done some jobs, hasn't it? I mean, it's made a Wimshurst, it's made a kid's toy, it's made some stuff for the mechanical alphabet. And what we're going to do now is make a compass out of it. Because this is just what's left, really. These, these four little bits. And I want to make some compasses out of them, mostly because I've got this massive circle to draw. So, what I'm going to do is make a compass out of this mahogany. Now, we need, obviously, to divide this down there, making two parts that can open up. So, let's do that. So once I marked it out, all I actually did was saw down that side of the top bit and then swivel it round and that side to that mark there, so near where the head is. And then I took my time to carve that bit out with actually a carpet knife. And what happens is the two bits come apart like that. So we get two legs and we get a head to it. We're obviously going to fix that head and we'll be able to open it up like a compass. So the only real things to do with this, I've prettied that up a little bit, and that's basically a sanding job. I want to make a little circular end, put a nail in the bottom, and again, pretty that up, a bit of super glue to hold the nail in, and then we need a pencil holder, and that actually finishes it. Now, I found these little drawer handles in the local store, and they're a brass effect, and they're just going to make an awesome thumb screw, so that's what I'm going to use. So all I'm going to do, really, is sand this to shape. So just to run through that again, all I did was take my piece of mahogany, cut down there, and then cut up there, and separate those out with a carpet knife so that I got two separate pieces. And these are the pieces that I got. I then finished those off by sanding them to shape, put a brass nut, uh, bolt in there, and then that really cute handle which is going to make my thumb grip. And that's actually getting towards the compass being finished. Obviously it needs a point, and for a point we're going to use a stainless steel nail, nail I've chopped the top off the nail and I'm going to drill a hole at that angle so that when the compass closes, these two point together. So just drill that out with uh, a small drill and then a bit of super glue and whack that nail in the foot and then obviously finish off that end. Okay, so it's a nice project, it's quick, it's easy and it gives you a pretty job of something useful. Now obviously we're just about finished actually, shaped it, sanded it, needs a bit of oil, got its pin in, needs something to hold the pencil. So what I've done is taken this extra block of mahogany, drilled a 7.5mm hole, cut a slot, and then drilled a 4mm hole there where we're going to put the bolt on so the pencil can get cinched in place. Now it's best obviously if the pencil lead points towards that point, so some sort of angle like that would be ideal and awesome. But this is meant for drawing big circles, so it really doesn't matter that much, it really isn't crucial. The pencil goes in there, that will fit onto there somehow, so all I'm going to do actually is make a pretty angle, there we go, like that, saw that bit off, glue, pin, and we're done. And there it is finished. Now a couple of little things to point out actually. This here was an old drill hole that took a screw to make the table. I just put a plug in it and made a feature out of it, why not? There's the actual pencil holder right there. You can see I drilled a 7.5mm hole, cut a slot in it so that that will spring, and this, the grain is running in that direction. If you run the grain in that direction, when you try to close it, it'll just snap off. So you need to put the grain in that direction. And that's it, now ready to draw large circles. Okay, so that's easily going to draw the size of circles I want. I know, because I've just actually measured it out, so that is the circle size. Ah, that's beautiful. No worries. I mean, I do like making my own tools, actually, especially if I haven't got them. And this thing, although it's just a compass, it's a pleasure to make, and it's the kind of thing I think you could give as a gift. I mean, it looks really beautiful. It does the job really well, and I'm going to hang it on the wall, use it, it's going to be pride of place. So I hope you enjoyed that, but it's a way to use scrap bits and pieces to make something useful that either you don't have, or you want to have, or you just want to give away. I mean, Christmas is coming. But there we go. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching.